there are a lot of big events coming up right here in the end. What I want you to listen to is the audio from the pilot as he passes us. Did you feel that? Yeah, that was cool. And it's still a cool thing. Still cool every time that I get to go supersonic in an airplane. We have multiple places that we can go supersonic. So yesterday, we renamed one of our supersonic corridors to the Bell X-1 supersonic corridor in commemoration of the 75th anniversary. So now you'll know that that's a special airspace that we can go supersonic in. You'll hear the booms today. All right, so now I'm going to talk about some of the systems that I've worked on and how an engineer is involved in flight test. So automatic collision avoidance technology, there's two of them. There's automatic air and automatic ground. Automatic ground prevents airplanes from hitting the ground, hitting mountains, uh, hitting the terrain, and automatic air prevents two airplanes from hitting each other. So why is this important? Over a 12-year period, we did a study and we found that we had lost 86 military pilots due to controlled flight in the terrain or a midair, meaning there was nothing wrong with the airplane. Um, they lost, lost their lives because that aircraft crashed into the ground or crashed into another airplane. And this is just not acceptable. One of the things that we lose pilots' lives to is that we're passing out in the airplane. They're losing consciousness. It's called G loss of consciousness. So who's been on a roller coaster before? Hopefully everyone. You guys been on a roller coaster before? All right, have you ever gone on the bottom of a roller coaster and you see that force that's pulling you down? That same force is what pulls the, the blood out of your brain. So you can imagine if you're losing the blood in your brain, you're going to pass out. And unfortunately that happens to too many of our pilots. So what we're going to do together is we're going to do a thing called a G strain. And this is what they train me and other pilots and engineers to do when you're in the aircraft. And so the G strain is where you're going to clench all the muscles in your body, okay, from the lower half. So you're going to focus on feet on the ground. I'm looking at you guys. All right, we're going to do it together. All right, we're going to clench, and I want you to make the muscles in your calves, in your quads, in your glutes, in your abs really tight. All right, so you're squeezing, trying to keep that blood in your brain, and then you're going to make a sound, and that is to try to keep the blood flowing. All right, so we're going to do it all together. All right, ready? G strain, go. Very good, all right. So we're gonna watch some videos and you're gonna hear the pilot outlook and focus as I made my way to space. I think some of the best advice I ever got when I was starting out was that if I wanted to be a pilot or an astronaut, I should pick a STEM discipline that interested me. 